Hi to YouTube, um, Planet Station here. Going to do a little quick review of my latest um, purchase here. It's a Beretta M9A3. Uh, give you a little back history of this. I first got this Beretta. It's a 92 FS Enox. Probably about like six or seven years ago. And uh, fell in love with it. I dubbed it my Italian female dog, if you know what I mean. So, because she was having failed the feeds uh, with the certain ammo I was using, so I had to replace the, the guide rod and the spring with a, I don't know if I want a heavier spring or a lighter spring. It had to have been a lighter spring. Um, and then I, I always shot really good ammo through this. I was shooting a Remington UMC and it just, it didn't like it. So, I did check. Clear. Um, so, I'll explain what I have now and the differences between the older model here. Um, so that's just a standard M uh, 92FS. It's not the M9 uh, A1 with the Picatinny rail there. So that's that, we'll get to that. So this is the unboxing of my latest pistol. Pretty cool, it comes with this box and a recyclable target also. You can make, turn it into a target if you want, if you wanted to. Group size, lot number, all that cool stuff. So there it is. Comes in a cool ammo can. Open it up. Fits right in there. So comes with some O-rings for suppressor use. Um, three magazines has this this coating on it to keep it um like if you're using it in desert desert warfare or whatever if it gets sand in here it keeps the sand from clogging up the, the magazine i'll show you the difference this is a standard magazine you can tell there's no coating on it it's just standard stamp steel that's a macar 18 shot round or 18 um 18 shot magazine standard is a 15. what's cool about this is it comes factory with 17 shots magazine three of those so we'll take those out of the box a sticker represent comes with a hoe grip from the factory in case you want to push your safety lock if you want to change this grip to the standard parameter what I mean by that is you'll see in a second you've got this hump on your your standard 92 FS this pistol takes that hump away so it gives you like a more 1911 type feel. It doesn't have this huge fat grip that I've come accustomed to with this one. So you can swap this grip on there to give you back that, that rear hump. And then here, here's what I was talking about. So get this out of the way. So see how the difference is in the hump and the non-hump? If you could see if I have good enough light here. But yeah, just straight down. It's actually, the grooves are cut different in this one, these are just straight lined on a 92FS, cross cut lines. Uh, it's got an extended mag release, so easier to do with your thumb. It still has a factory grease on it. There's a the third mag. But um, what else is, yeah, different uh, rail on it system than the M9A1. The A1 only has one slot, this one has three. And of course, threaded threaded barrel. It's the only factory threaded barrel you can get from Beretta. I struggled with um, threading this one. You could send this barrel in and get it threaded, but it, there's not as much meat as a standard threaded barrel, so I didn't really opt with that option. Plus, they all only came black. So, um, standard decocker, as most Beretta 92 FSs have. Um, they said they're coming with a different decocker or whatever like a G model or whatever I don't I really didn't understand that didn't pay attention um, a lot of the videos I've seen online had this decocker going up at a 15 degree angle so when you slide it back there's no chance of decocking in an accident mine has actually a straight straight back just like the factory one if you see both mine are both mine straight and so is my old 92 FS this is an Italian model by the way that's why I called it the Ita Italian female dog. Anyways, pretty much standard Beretta Fair. Cool coating on it though. Um, actually had it on my carpet last night. I took a few pictures. Um, they did have some kind of issues with this pin 
this clip, uh, spring coming down here on the trigger guide pin and uh, it was kind of behind there from the factory and the guys are having that come out. But I haven't had any issues with that. But looking forward to using this, it feels a lot more slim in my hands, which is cool. Comes with the Trigicon, um, I don't know if it's Tritium Night Sights, but that's a nice touch because the standard Enox come, it's a three, three dot, all red. And the Enox, these are Night Siders. I turn off the lights, but probably won't be able to see it. Standard, you can see the bullet um, in the mag in the in the chamber or in the battery. <clears throat> What's cool about this is I saw in another video is the fact that you could swap parts. So I thought that was pretty pretty slick. If I can. Uh... I thought this was really cool. And uh, maybe they made it, the military did that for, for a good reason. So if you wanted to just swap parts, if you, whatever. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'm gonna doing it. Oh, there it is. Oh, there you go. There's the Enox top on a Beretta um, M9A3 bottom. As you can see, functions fine. We'll swap the A3 top on this one. Same thing. You can swap barrels out, they said. Um, not an issue, so it's a nice little feature there. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but, but that's it. <clears throat> so that's my new Beretta M9A3. So I'll, this, I learned this pistol is kind of hard to come by. It was released, I believe, last year, late last year. And I saw it at a dealer I went to to buy a lower AR-15 lower. I fell in love with it, um, but was searching all over. I was on a wait list with a lot of places since January of 2016. And it finally popped on my radar in December. Uh, I literally, it, it sold out or they only had one in stock and it was gone within five minutes. Um, so luckily I jumped on it when I did. So I'm pretty happy to have this. Even my dealer when I got it, um, did the, the transfer over. I got it from Impact Guns. He said, are you just going to put it in the safe and forget about it? Basically leave it, you know, non-shot, make it a collector's item. And I'm like, hell no, I'm going to be using this sucker. So that's it. Chameleon there. <laughs> Final parting shot. All right. Take care.